What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new AEW action figure review on the AEW Supreme Collection Series number 3, Penta and Ray Phoenix figures. Now typically we do our Supreme Collection reviews separately, usually it's just a one in these videos, but since they are a tag team, since they come together in the same set, why not go ahead and put these guys together? We have the Lucha Bros here today, very excited for these, I think that we may be looking at the two best iterations of these guys so far from Jazzwares and AEW, but these packages are so damn big I can't even fit them on the freaking screen man here is Pinta and here's Ray Phoenix let's go ahead <sighs> damn I hate that so first taking a look at Pentagon guys here is the positioning and the packaging very unique you have him like looking off to the right here he's got his headdress here he's got his jacket looking pretty good and then you have Ray Phoenix here who similarly has his own headdress he's got his own little pose here in the packaging and if you put them next to each other, you guys can see that they're kind of like facing towards each other, which is pretty cool. And what's unique about these also is they don't have interchangeable gear like we've seen with the Cody's. We saw it with Britt Baker. We saw it with Kenny Omega. We saw it with Malachi Black. You're only getting one gear with each of these guys. However, you are getting some interchangeability. We get some interchangeable head skulls. We have a lot of stuff going on here. But names across the bottom, Supreme Collection up top. They do store the accessories on the side here so you guys can see what you're getting. Penta is number five. And then on the back, you have a shot of him there, all out Chicago. Beautiful matchup, my god. Other side, you got the arms, you got the belt. And then getting into Ray Phoenix, same deal. You know, spinning it around, you get the jacket and the accessories on the side. You get the other accessories on this side. And then on the back, you get a beautiful shot of Ray Phoenix there from all out. Anyways, man, let's crack these guys out of their packaging. Find out what they're all about and see how they compare to the rest of our AEW Supreme Collection action figures. So here are the Lucha Bros out of the packaging, man. Really enjoying these. You know, I still have my gripes with Supreme figures, which we'll get into all the details of these guys, of course. But I'm really, really really enjoying these. I think they're very freaking toyetic, man. They really, really are. The tattoos, the masks, the jackets, the headdress. I think these were excellent selections for the Supreme Collection, and I hope they do well. I hope that you don't find these shelf warming and things like that. I don't think they're going to have that issue. While they may not be as widely known as a Cody Rhodes or a Kenny Omega, I still think a lot of the people that know who those guys are know who Lu the Lucha Bros are, and these figures look fantastic, man. I would love to have a set of these. I mean, I do have a set of these men on card, but I would like to have a set of these men on card autographed by the two guys. These figures are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. But we won't know exactly what they're all about until we get into all their details, break them down, get into their accessories, and see how they compare to the rest of our Lucha Bros collections. So those things being said, let's dive into their accessories. And what we're going to do is we are going to do one figure at a time. So I'm going to break down Ray Phoenix's accessories and Ray Phoenix, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Penta's accessories and Penta. All right, guys, so getting into Ray Phoenix's accessories, it is a supreme collection, so you're going to get a ton of stuff here. What's interesting, again, though is that these guys don't come with interchangeable gear but rather interchangeable entrance gear which is an interesting thought all things considered you know i feel like if this were like an ultimate edition maybe it would be like cloth goods accessories but they have continued to do the interchangeable arms which i think is awesome i like it here you know i think it works i think the sculpt is nice and all that but let's get into these head sculpts getting into the first one we do have this nice gold color i love the shimmer of it and i like the expression here i think it looks like ray phoenix obviously ray phoenix is under a mask so it's hard to necessarily get all of his details of his head skull, but I think these work. I think they're passable. I love the shiny gold on these, and they interchange really easily, so I dig the sculpt. I think the likeness is good as well. So you have kind of like an angry expression, then you have kind of like a smiling, kind of like, I don't know, kind of goofy looking expression here with his mouth open, and then you have this one that's kind of like disgusted, so they're very similar, at least these two are, and I can't tell if he's like smiling in the middle one. It kind of looks like it, but you guys can see. These are our three head sculpt options, and they're definitely similar. These, the middle one and the right one are definitely very, very similar, but I like the color of them and things like that like he's in a mask so it doesn't really bother me that much but I guess a straight face would have worked in this case but you know I don't mind it outside of that we also get an AEW World Tag Team Championship we've seen these before but I like the AEW tag title so this works for me always looking good in figure form we have this nicely sculpted headdress which I think looks really good the colors are nice it, it, it's very cool the feathers are nice this is like a rubber feeling material I'm guessing it is rubber it's not rubber feeling I'm pretty sure it is rubber but it does go on the head sculpt pretty good as if you guys haven't seen yet you know you take the head sculpt here and then you put the crown on here and it fits relatively well I'd say you know I think it stays on there so that's pretty good it fits nicely and snug on the figure so like look it'll even grip the head sculpt which is what you like I think this is pretty epic it reminds
reminds me a lot of like Entrance Greats Rey Mysterio or something. And the Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio that's coming soon. Put all three of these guys in your headdresses and put all three of these guys in a LWO style tag team or faction. Could be worth booking. So for the interchangeable side, you do have Rey Phoenix's jacket here. You got the logo there. And then on the front, you do have Lucha Brothers. And it's like a Letterman style jacket. And you do have the interchangeable arms. So I'll, I'll show off that in just a moment. But it looks good. You know, it's not like working pockets or anything. I feel like almost, like I like the interchangeable hands here. But I think you could have passed, you know, on a, you know, a cloth goods jacket and made it like all shimmery and stuff like that. But you can throw this over the figure here. And then if you want to interchange the jacket arms, you know, you come over here and you just plug it in here. You plug that in and then you come over here and you plug this in. Plug that in there and then you have, you know, Ray Phoenix in a jacket. So that's pretty epic. I think it works pretty damn good. Looks good on the figure and all those things. And then, of course, if you don't like that, you can unplug these arms, pop off the jacket, and then have your regular wrestling arms or, you know, wrestling gear. So after he's done his entrance, you can pop in the, you know, the regular wrestling arms, and there you go. You can go to work. So that's pretty damn cool. And then with these two arms choices, you get plenty of interchangeable hands. So you do have his entrance hands here as one pair. You have his interchangeable fisted hands. One, The left one has tape on it, and the right one doesn't. And one thing I'm immediately noticing is apparently he's supposed to have a hand tattoo on this fist. So that's kind of a, uh, that's a mistake there. So it is, so like some of them have hand tape, and some of them don't. And some of them have the tattoos, and some of them don't. So you guys can see here this has no finger tape these have finger tape and tattoos so that's kind of like missing you know you kind of mix and matching and then you also have this hand that has two fingers tape but no hand tattoos so you're getting a lot of different options there and i'm i'm guessing that uh, most of them are inaccurate unfortunately and that can't happen you know that that's something that cannot happen you can't have you know certain tattoos and certain not have tattoos they all need to be consistent and i guess at certain points you know maybe the tape fell off during the match which i understand but the tattoo bro can't can't miss the tattoo tattoo's got to go on all the hands. This is all right hands and all of them are different. I mean, I guess these two are consistent, so that that's, I guess that counts for something. But then on the left hand, you have the finger tape with the hand tape, and then on the other three, you don't have any finger tape, but you have all the hand tape. So the hand tape's consistent throughout, but the finger tape is not, which isn't the biggest deal, I guess. Leaving off the tattoos is pretty brutal, though. Alright, I man, getting into Phoenix at the top of the head sculpt. We discussed it a little bit. I think it sits well on here. It may sit maybe a tad high, but I don't, I don't know. I think, I, I like it. You know, I like it. Going down into the torso, though, you are getting a little bit of, like, miscoloration here, at least on camera. I'm seeing a little bit of it there, but you don't really notice it in person. Tattoos all look good here. He does have butterfly joints, which I kind of feel are maybe a little bit loose. They're not like egregious, but they are definitely, it's worth noting, you know. All of his tattoos here, you do have the wrist tape on there. You have all of his tattoos over here. Very cool gear going on. You got the gold and the red and the white and the black all going down. Very good gear. I, I love the gear. I thought him and Pentagon looked really, really good up next to each other at All Out during this match, but I really like this gear. I don't know if I like it more than the black and white, but I do like it a lot. I like it more in the black and gold from series six but he does have the cape like look at that right there i just grabbed it right there and the the knee kind of came over so the knees we're still experiencing some loose joints here with these for sure but aesthetically the figure looks pretty damn good i i think it looks awesome you're getting all these sculpts here he even has the uh toe articulation there you get the boot rotation like all this right here is sculpted man they they did not hold back on sculpting either of these guys they did a really great job on them i i love these figures i really do as far as articulation he can look down all the way because he does have like a ball hinge here so it's not just a regular ball joint he can look all the way down and up that is something that i wish mattel would get on i don't know how they do it but that is just excellent there arms can go up above 90 you do get the full rotation here butterfly joint you get the full rotation on the bicep swivel double jointed arms here which are so good man they like he he can he can get in any pose i feel like you really need great ab crunch you guys know that the diaphragm's there you get all this articulation it's not loose either he's got ball joints you can do the splits upper thigh cut I will say the double joint knee is a little bit loose, but he can still pose really well here. Like, you're not going to have any issues getting him into any pose. You also have the kick pad rotation, the feet go down and up, and he has the toe pivot at the end there, which we already touched on. But you're not going to have problems posing this guy around, man. It's just not going to happen. He can do it all in terms of posing. Well, for your Ray Phoenix figure comparisons, here is the Series 2 Ray Phoenix and then the Series 6 Ray Phoenix. They're un unrivaled Series 6 and unrivaled Series 2. And I like all three of these in their own way. You guys can see the skin tone's a little bit different here. The Supreme is actually a little bit lighter than these two, so that's pretty cool. I don't know, like, all the tattoos look different in their own way. Like, some of them are darker, some of them are lighter, so you're kind of getting, like, some mixed bags there. And a lot of these sculpts are pretty much the same, but I think I do like the Supreme the most. And, I mean, hell, you could even take, look at this right here. You could take this head sculpt since, uh, you know, they make it easy. You can pop off 
The Unrival, oh my god in heaven, does this not pop off? I don't know why that was so tight, but you can put the Series 6 head sculpt, I do believe, onto the Supreme. I might regret this now, Jesus Christ. But there you go, like yeah, on camera I'm noticing a bit of like color discoloration, but you don't notice it in person, that's not how it looks in person. But look at that, you got the black mask on here on the Supreme now, so that's pretty damn cool. So getting into Penta's accessories, much like Ray Phoenix, man, got a lot going on with it. I think it's fantastic, by the way. Headdress similar to him. I like it a lot. You got a lot more. I, I don't know. I like this headdress more. I think it's got a lot more going on. You get the whites in there and the bright colors and stuff like that. I just like this one more in my own personal opinion. But who am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. Looking pretty good here. I like it. Sculpts looks good. And it also, much like Ray Phoenix, it hugs the figure's head. So you can, like, put it on here. They did a really good job of sculpting this to where it will fit on the figure well and not fall off. So that's, like, I mean, look at this right here. That's, that's excellent. That's all you can really ask for. Outside of that, you have the these beautiful sculpted masked head sculpts for Penta. Here's the tongue out head sculpt and these just look brilliant man. Look at all the detail you're getting here. The sculpt, the paint, they feel really good. You even have like the paint splatter. Very very detailed head sculpts here. So you have the tongue out head sculpt. You have just the screaming expression here. Dude these look just like Penta. They, they look just like Penta. I think they did a fantastic job on these and then you also have the straight face. So I like that you're getting the straight face with, you know, the mask and, and the colors on there. And then you also have the yelling and then you have the tongue out. So all three of these look damn good. It, like super impressive with the sculpt and the paint. Whoever did the sculpt work for these is just unbelievable. These look so good and they feel great and they're just professional great, man. These are excellent. Great effing job. You also get an AEW World Tag Title to match with our Ray Phoenix Tag Title. Then you have his interchangeable hands. You have the right glove that's in red with like this like barbed wire style design and then you have the white version. Now, I didn't get a good look at his gloves during the event. He switched it up. He's worn Nike gloves before. I've seen him wear Under Armour gloves before. I want to say, now I don't know this for a fact, but these may be the brand that they sell at Walmart, like the football gloves they sell at Walmart. But again, that's just off the cuff. But I remember like athletes, growing up as an athlete, being a, a football player for a lot of my life. I love football. Playing it as a as a player and I was always into my gear and what I wore, similar to how wrestlers are with their gear and stuff. So that's why I always love gear and like stuff like that because I relate it to football and when I played. So we're going off on a tangent here, but I remember guys would get clowned for wearing the Walmart gloves. So that's just kind of what like, he may not have worn the Walmart gloves and I'm not clowning him specifically because it looks damn good with the gear. And I guess you don't really, like, you're going more for aesthetics rather than performance in wrestling anyways. I don't know. I'm just relating it to a story here. But you have Fist that had the same version there. So I just thought that was wild that at the level that Penta wrestles, for him to have Walmart-style gloves was just kind of a crazy thought that I had. But I'm just relating it back to my own personal stories. But he, tattoos on the nooks look damn good. He's got the hand tape. He did finish the match with the gloves off. Of course, he was a bloody freaking mess, and we don't get any blood on these head sculpts or these hands, but I think a Blood and Guts 2 pack with these guys, not in Supreme form, would be something you could sell, because I mean, they were a bloody freaking mess in that pack. And then just like Phoenix, we do have the Lucha Bros jacket here. It says Penta, Zero, Mieto. You do have the Zero on there, which looks really good, and then he has the same exact technology, and of course, you do have your signature hands here for the signature pose, and these are sculpted really well. Really well painted as well, but he also has the jacket arms. Same feature as the Ray Phoenix. You guys already saw what this looked like on the figure, but I like the sculpt of these arms. I, I just love these, dude. These are really, really fun figures. And then, of course, he does have his interchangeable arms with the tattoos in there. And these also look damn good. But I'm ready to get into Pentagon himself, man. Let's take a look at the actual figure. All right, guys. So getting into this Penta, prepared to be blown the hell away, man. I have been obsessed with this figure. This is probably my favorite figure I've reviewed this year. It's definitely up there, man. That's how much praise I give this figure because it's so detailed and so nice. I mean, we've looked at the head sculpts. Amazing head sculpts. Look at this sculpt here. I know we've seen this before, right? We've seen the Penta before, but look at not only are you getting all of this sculpt to detail, they put the sculpt in the damn butterfly joints, man. You're getting the sculpt here. This is not flat. This is not just painted. That is sculpted onto the butterfly joint there. So you're getting that continued look. It gives it a lot of depth. It gives it a lot of just detail in general. The details on this Penta are absolutely fantastic. And even this on the back, with the graphic and all of this is painted and it's all sculpted. All of this is sculpted on here. This is not just painted on, man. This is a sculpted on patch that they have on the back here. You're getting all of the gold detail and the flag and the colors going all the way down on his waist wrap. Onto his knee pads, you're getting this sculpted here. This figure is truly incredible 
impeccable. You can really just digest every single thing. You have all of his tattoos here that look super accurate. Gloves and gauntlets look good. I mean, dude, you're looking at an amazing action figure. I don't think I've given this much praise to a wrestling action figure. I don't know about ever, but it's definitely been a long time, if so. But we're getting that same sculpt we've seen on his previous figures. He does have the toe articulation there, but I am blown away. I really wish they could give us the Joker gear. I don't think it's possible. I feel like they probably would have already given it to us. Like, this would probably be the Joker gear if that was possible. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it is possible. We'll have to see about that, but this figure is stunning, man, and you're getting a ton of articulation with it as well. Again, ball hinge here. He can uh, go past 90. You get a great, great butterfly joint here, and he feels tighter than uh, Ray Phoenix for whatever reason. He just feels so solid, man. He feels really, really solid. He's on ball joints, so you can get the big split, upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, you get the kick pad rotation at the bottom, ankles move down and up, you have the toe pivot, you have the ankle pivot, I mean dude, you're getting a ton of stuff here, I, I love this figure a lot, I think that if you have missed out on other Pentas, just get this one man, get this one, the series 2 used to be my favorite, but this has overtaken the throne. This is the king of Penta action figures. Now for your Pentagon figure comparisons, guys, here is the Series 2 and the Series 6. You know, they always come together in their series, but all three of these look stunning up next to each other. I am noticing the Supreme is slightly taller than the rest of them, but all three of these are fantastic in their own way. But the Supreme is better. And I know that the scaling with these guys has been a bit off lately. I think they do need to shrink them down just a hair so they can fit in better with our wrestling figure collections. But these three just look insane, man. But this one's definitely my favorite. Just those added details are unbelievable. They look so good. It's just crazy how, how much detail is packed into this figure. For your final comparison, guys, here is all three sets of Lucha Bros. And I don't think you can really go wrong with any of the sets. It's just which ones do you prefer. But I would highly put over the Supremes just because you get more bang for your buck with all the accessories, head sculpts, sculpts, details, all those things, man. I am uh, over the moon about these figures. I really like them, but of course they do have their gripes. They're not perfect, but I think that these figures are still super badass. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW Supreme Collection Series 3 Lucha Bros review. These figures kick ass, son. These figures are fantastic. The Pinta, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be the Pinta. I just think the overdone sculpt and the way this figure looks is just insanity, man. But again, both of these guys are like toyetic on drugs, right? Between their masks and their colorful gears and their tattoos. I mean, these guys are literal just born to be action figures. But these guys kick all the ass. These are beautiful. I love the metallic gold. All the sculpting work you're getting on Penta alone. I mean, even on the butterfly joints on the back of his of his gear. Dude, these are unbelievable. These are easily their best figures. And I thought the Series 2 Penta was fantastic. I thought the Series 6 was fantastic. I mean, the Series 6 got a bit loose on me. I mean, I, I could see where the, these would probably get loose if you fed it with them for just a match or two, to be honest with you. But I think on the shelf, these are incredible. I think figure photography, these look impeccable. Like, I, I cannot tell you how badass these guys are. I mean, this Penta is going to be in the top figures of the year. It's probably going to be in the top five AEW action figures of the year. I could probably say that with certainty. I say go grab them, man. Use code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, and go over there and grab you a set of these. Like I said, I already got my men on card set. I got my loose set, so I'm up to date. But these are awesome. They really, really are. My only gripes are just the typical stuff with AEW figures, right? Some of their joints feel a little bit loose. Their knees, the pinless knees in AEW Supreme figures I found to be kind of loose as well. So you are getting some of that still. And if Ray Phoenix is appearing as two different colors on camera, I'm not getting a lot of that in person, so I think you're going to be okay with that. I don't think you're going to really harp on that if you see it on camera. I don't, I'm not seeing it on my camera, but I guess it's possible. I've had people approach me in the past about that. But I love both these guys. I think they're fantastic. If you guys are interested in becoming Patreon members, definitely go sign up in the description below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Always appreciate their support. If you guys are interested in MDT merch, t-shirts... ProWrestlingTees.com slash MyDamnToys. Link in the description below. But I think that's going to wrap up this review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I had a ton of fun with these guys. I am blown away, honestly. I am blown away. I think they're freaking amazing. They're cool. The sculpt's amazing. And I think the only way to improve AEW figures in a whole is just trying to fix how damn loose they get so quickly and make the joints tighter somehow. And I think that's really the only thing holding them back because aesthetically, these guys are stunning and they look amazing. I, I just, they're amazing impeccable. Nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time for the second time. You'll never be